they've almost finished surveying the brand. Did they use the Zek or the Slash Mine method? They couldn't agree, so they're doing both. More data is better, and you can never have too much information. But at what cost? We're losing people every week for this damned research. Oh, it's pretty spooky. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the Ascalon Catacombs. We are deep beneath Ascalon in the haunted ruins of the humans, trying to find uh, the twin sword of Sahothin, another fiery sword like this, uh, called Magdea, which apparently is up those steps. We have Aester Galkin with us, Ritlock Brimstone with us. Let's see what they say. The journey continues. You have my attention. Hey, Air. She says, perhaps I was unwise to come here. Well, only time will tell. Perhaps. I mean, it's been a hard road. He says, stay focused. A mis misstep around here will be your last. Thanks for the warning. And uh, by the way, Air actually is a ranger. And so she has a pet. She has Garm here. Garm looks ready to bite some ghosts. Good boy. So we can't really communicate or know much about Garm there or Air herself. But uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So normally we would go up that staircase. However, there's a freaking tr cave troll that has just spawned here. This thing is like impossible for us to beat. I promise you. This this is hard enough to beat for a five-man team at launch. Uh, I'm soloing this. I, I'm not going to fight that cave troll. It's going to be insane. The idea is like it might spawn somewhere and you have to be a really strong group to take it out. I'm struggling even on mini bosses right now. Oh my god. Okay. So we get more ghosts. Straight back into the action. Justice. So, yeah, we want to be cautious of that. Hammer will be really nice here on this fight because we can actually use our CCs and, like, land them on them and stuff. Uh, but I probably want to go back to Axe Axe just to kill these things quickly. Let's go back to our 100 blades here. Build a lot of might. A lot of healing. All right, that feels pretty good. And things are a little bit easier now because we actually get, you know, we get air with us. We got our rock dog. We got our bird. I don't think we've seen the parrot spawn yet. Or the bird, I think. It, I don't think it's a parrot. I think it's a different rune set can give you a parrot. Uh, all right, so let's get the hammer off. Let's instead put on... And we can run various combos as well, by the way, right? So we could run, if we want, Axe main hand, Mace offhand. Let me make sure I get the sigils right. So this is a really cool combo. Oh, God. There was a ghost here a second ago. Where's it gone? Hello? Seems to have disappeared. Uh, so this is really good because we can knock them down with the five. We don't get the spinny whirl anymore, but we can knock them down with the five. We can put tons of vulnerability on them with the four which increases the damage they take, right? I've said that about a million times. I'll stop in a moment. I just want you guys to know 100% when I use these terms what they reference. And then we can start smashing them to pieces with the incredibly fast axe autos and things. So what do we have here? Well, there's a lieutenant and there's an entire army of ghosts. No one disturbs our Lord Adelbert. Quit this chamber at once. You leave me no choice. Attack! Protect the king! Don't let them reach the sword. Okay, we need to bail. We need to bail. There's a ton of mods there. There's a ton of creatures there. Okay, so we're going to just gently pull them to the... Okay, they're not attacking us yet. We need to gently pull them. It says there's 15 to kill and the boss, the captain himself. All right. So we're going to use Blade Trail there to just grab a couple. Oh my God, that was really meaty. All right, maybe that was a few more than a couple. Maybe that was a few more. We'll just wait for them to come here. We'll use this against the wall. And these ghosts are a bit weaker than the other ones. But as they all come in... They can go into the meat grinder. So this is a pretty classic line of sight I'm using here. Where they can't just free cast on us. They have to walk in. And as they come round, we're ready for them. So good. We can take him out. We can take him out. This is all good. Ow. Buster. All right. The boss is in. The big boss. We've got 13 out of 15 ghost kills. So these are the last two ghosts here. So let's smash him up. Okay, good. All right, also, because we have the mace offhand now, we might... All right, we got to dodge that. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, we might just be able to break his break bar as we fight him. It depends on a few things. We'll have to see. So we can get it 50% down. We'll kick him again. Eviscerate. Kick him again. It's getting quite low. If, if Air and Ritlock contribute anything to this, we might be able to do it. We can just keep smashing him to pieces. Ow, that knocked back. There is a giant pit near us. Which, if we fall down, we might die to full damage. There is water at the bottom of it, but if we get really unlucky, we might... We, we might get unlucky, we might die. So there you go. Break bar, break bar, break... Oh, come on, one more hit on the break bar! No! We'll get more vulnerability on him. It looks like we got this pretty handily. Ritlock's down, Garm's down. It's going to be just us. Screw it. Let's just go 100 blades immediately. Whew. All right. Guys, thanks for the, for the, the support there. So... Oh, 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 Hello. Looks like the king is here. Ritlock, the broken sword. It's the twin to your own. 
Worry more about the sword's master. Look there! I sense a Hothan's presence. Rurik, my son! You've returned! Your son is dead. So is your kingdom. Leave us! Foul creature. Your entire race will pay. Even now, my champions prepare to invade the surface. You will fall before the might of Master Major Nente, Deadly Kasha Blackblood, and the lovers Rolina and Vassal. We'll destroy you as you destroyed us! You frighten no one with your meaningless threats. We've killed you before. We'll do it again. <laughs> now you've angered them. They were already angry. Now we must find his champions and silence them. <laughs> to be honest, Ritlock, Ritlock only was annoyed about air coming down here because she might stir the pot, and he's just stirred the pot way more than she had. Uh, <laughs> uh, remember, in their old guild, she was his leader, basically, right? So he'd have to bow to her plan. Um, this is great. Okay, so, yes, that's Adelburn. Adelburn was a big character in the original game. I won't give you the whole history. Obviously, you can go back and watch that or play that if you want that experience. Funny thing, these champions... Was Duke Baradin a champion? I would have loved a little reference to that maybe somewhere in this dungeon. But these champions, these are all old Guild Wars 1, like, uh... Ascalon NPCs. They were like people who taught you about professions. So like M M Master Nente, if you played as a ranger in the original game, he would actually teach you early ranger skills. Kasha Blackblood was a necromancer you met and she taught you about black uh, blood magic. These are all references, right? And Garm is still down. You're a terrible ranger uh, air. You need to raise your pet. Look, by the way, Garm himself is legendary so that's kind of cool. Alright, so air, what did she say? Um, Ritlock's plan to go after the Adelburn's champions is sound. Well, tell me about the generals. They were heroes in the service of the Sorceress King, turned to ghosts by the foe fire. Ritlock knows more about them. You'll notice that Adelburn seems a little bit more, like, cognate than the other ghosts as well. He actually knows that the Char have defeated them. At, well, sort of. Um, and he's actually planning to recapture Ascalon. So, I guess as the enactor of the foe fire, he sort of gets that advantage there. What do you have for me? What do you have for me, man? He says, killing the Sorcerer King's champions will anger Adelburn out into the open. I'm sure of it. All right, tell me about them. Well, they had four great champions when the foe fire struck. If we dispatch them, he should reappear. So these guys were here right when the foe fire landed. Tell me about Kasha Blackblood. Necromancy is disgusting. Kasha Blackblood was one of Adelburn's grotesque practitioners of the art. You have to stay focused on her, not her minions, or she'll siphon your life away. All right, so this is advice for each of the bosses. I guess since we... No, we'll do a different guy first. Let's do Master Ranger. Nente. Nente was a ranger, a specialist in cowardice. He hid behind his pets and he slaughtered my ancestors with arrows. If we find him down here, his animals won't be far behind. Right, so we actually get a choice. Where do we want to go? Three doors have opened now. We got the cave trail down there, which we still want to be careful of. Uh, but lots of doors have opened. We've got different directions we can go. I'm going to come out of this side door over here, back where we entered from. Well, not where we entered from down there, right? We're going to come over here, though, and we're going to see what we can do. So there's three ghosts, two warriors, well, an, a warrior, a necro, and a ranger. The ranger seems separate, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blade trail. We're going to hit them. We're going to pull them all the way back here. Garm might drag some aggro or something, I don't know. But as long as we fight from over here, I'm not scared of that other guy. All right, so this is good. <clears throat> Justice. So we can just sort of chain these knockdowns and things. Necromancer might be a better target than the warrior. Oh, God, they hurt so bad. They hurt so bad. Let's throw that axe. Oh, God, 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 God. So we just need to, like, hide for a second while we sustain. You see all this passive healing we're getting? This is from running defense. This is from running the healing signet. This is exactly what we're trying to do. I could have ran food, which would have helped me even further. So here we use this against this wall. For great justice. We'll knock him down again. Eviscerate. The Kick. Return. Killing them along with this ranger that's patrolling might have been a bad idea. So let's throw our axe over at him down that staircase and bring him up. Now I noticed a blue dot on the ground there, right? So we don't want to go over to that blue dot because that might summon another ghost, which would not be good for us. Let's go straight into the 100 blades here. Use this. Oh god, that skill didn't work. Adrenaline for great justice! Sometimes I, like, mess up with my options and the, the skills don't do what I'm expecting because I don't always use combat mode, right? I, I usually fight with a different thing. All right, okay, so with them dealt with, we reach the Western Chambers, and there's three enemies here. So the way I want to fight these is I want to come through, right through. We're going to pop stability here. And as they come around this corner, this way, 
Oh my god, we missed the warrior. This is really annoying. As we fight these guys, the rangers are going to be forced to walk all the way around. Oh god, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is really terrible right now. I might be dead. I might be dead. No, I think we're dead. I think we're dead. I think this is it. Oh no, the wound. We're going to be mortally wounded here. Now we could go for the vengeance. Which would, if we can kill someone while we're in vengeance, we'll rally and we'll stay alive. We've got no choice. We have to. We have to try and do this. So, let's hope we rally on this warrior here. No, we killed him, but we didn't rally. So, we did win the fight. There is nothing here that will kill us, but we're going to go dead now because we don't, uh, we can't, we can't sustain. So, here we go. This is what it looks like to die. You are defeated. Ah. Oh. Damn it. So our choice now is to go back to a waypoint and run all the way back. So this is back at the start of the dungeon. I swear we should have unlocked a new one by now. But that's a bit of a shame. I'll be back in a second, guys. Oh, rest in peace. It was such an easy group. I guess this demonstrates to you, though, that I'm, you know, I'm not hamming it up. I'm not faking it. It really is dangerous here. All right, moving back in. We've got this last uh, ranger to kill here. I will still try my best to not struggle. I don't want this character to die a lot at all, right? I think that that would really suck for the series, so we'll see. Maybe we could have ran shield. Maybe the mace off hand's been a bad idea. I might go back to axe. We might be able to make some plays with that. Um, but for this next fight, I'm actually going to put a rifle on, and I'll show you why in a second. So he stacks so much poison on us. These rangers doing so much poison. So we get one of the champions to fight right here, right now. This is the easiest of the champions. Oh my god, another cave trail? No, 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 that's not another cave trail. Right, so let's get the rifle out. Adam and Guard Ghost uh, rifle. So, let's see what we've got. Let's get up to the rangers, shall we? Your desire to destroy a still unsatisfied beast. Burning Ascalon, not enough for you. As long as you stalk us, we'll fight you tooth and claw. By Melandru's will, I will rend you from this world, Char. Alright, so we get the fight. And uh, we'll start off with our greatsword. We'll take stability. We'll blow him up. We'll do as much damage as we can. We're going to kick him, not because we can actually break his bar with it, but because uh, we want the damage buff, right, to keep rolling. This here, peak performance. We'll do this face to face. Okay, so you notice as at certain points in the fight, he actually disappears and runs off. And he's got a pet here called Fang, which will um, attempt to fight us and uh, harangue us as we get back to him. So we're going to run over. There is a thing you can do where it's like you throw the boulders at him. And the boulders can interrupt him and make him move. That boulder there that we just threw broke that statue, if you saw. So there's like all destructible terrain and stuff going on here. But as you'll see here, so here's Fang. We can maybe fight Fang. He runs off constantly, right? Uh, so really, it's not a hard fight, but that, that's like his main thing that he does. So when he runs off, we can go to Rifle. And we can shoot him from the edge to make him pressure him back down here, or we can kill him from the edges here. So rifle's a pretty fun one for this fight. Yeah, you coming back over? And I think that's the idea. That's why he says we'll do this face to face, because you're not supposed to start up there on the platform. It's like you fight him from around the range here. And, you know, Guild Wars is about weapon swapping, right? So it's like what you're watching here, where I have a melee set and a, and a range set. That's kind of the idea, right? We have won the day. Yeah, we have indeed, uh, air. This pet is annoying at best, but really not a threat. So there you go. That's champion number one done. Get a ton of stuff. And, uh, Report. yeah, we've got him killed. So that's great. Um, who do we want next? So, uh, yeah, Rage Nente, we got him here. He was a ranger, a specialist in cowardice. We heard that. Uh, so Cash of Black Blood is the next. Necromancy is disgusting, he says. Cash of Black Blood was one of Adelburn's grotesque practitioners of the art. You have to stay focused on her, not her minions. Okay. Uh, what else can he tell us, actually? He seems to have other stuff. Tell me about Adelburn's sword. The sword is named Magdea, and it's twin to mine. It was forged in ancient ore. So these relics, these artifacts, come from ore itself. Now, why does a fiery sword come from there? Well, it's because... Nowadays, we know it's the undead area, right, with the Elder Dragon, but once long ago, the humans that lived there, they lived there amongst gods, and it seems that the gods had forged these weapons as a gift to humanity. The Sorcerer King Adelburn shattered his one to summon the foe fire. 
Uh, so what about your sword then? Sohothin is twin to Ad Adelburn's sword and Magdea. So this is Sohothin that we see. Ritlock has Sohothin. Uh, Adelburn's son Rurik wielded Sohothin once, but it's mine now. Well, how did you end up with Sohothin? He says, that's none of your concern. That right there, how did you end up with Sohothin? That's none of your concern. That's a big mystery. It's a mystery that even to this date in 2018, the devs have not revealed to us. And not because they've like forgotten about it or whatever, but because it seems like it's quite important. Okay, so uh, yeah, how did he get Sohothin? That's none of our concern apparently. Air, what do you think about all this? Well, she just says perhaps I was unwise to come here. We're going to see that throughout this story, Air has a lot of doubts in herself. After failing as a leader before. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna come back through now into the center room. There's lots of different ways we can walk through this dungeon. Um, and I'd love to show off every square inch, but I mean, we're already a, a fair chunk into the second video as it is. So let's not, uh, worry too much. We're gonna come through this door now, because if you can see on my compass... By the way, if you think it's weird that the game calls the minimap a compass, it used to be circular. In earliest designs, it used to be a... And so it made more sense as a compass. Now this is interesting. Uh, now it doesn't make much sense, but there you have it. What have we got down there? Ghosts, I guess, uh, which we want to be cautious of. We can go left or we can go forwards. We're actually going to go... F uh, we'll go left. We'll go left. We'll go left. We still have the rifles, so we want to be careful of this. Kick him away. Roll away ourselves. Kill shot, maybe? Okay, good. Let's get rid of that for this next fight. I don't think we need this for the next fight. So, we will be back on rifle by the end of this, by the way. So, let's go back to... Let's do Axe Axe for a bit. Nice, super high damage. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna... What is the best route? I guess this is the best route here, yeah. So, we just want to be careful not to aggro anything scary. Nothing weird to appear. All right, it's another Graveling Burrow. We should take this out quick. We want these down as fast as possible because... We don't want the Gravelings to snowball against us. Wow, what the hell was that skill effect there that was shouting across the screen? That was crazy. Now that we've got Air and Co., we should be able to do the extra damage in time. There you go. And this counts as a regular event, by the way. We get a lot of experience for that. <clears throat> the game gives us really nice rewards for playing here, so that's good. Alright, what we got here? Creepy old overgrown area with two necromancers at the start. This sounds like the kind of place we might find Kasha. No? Do we hit them both with that? That's alright. So, these necromancers put a condition on me called weakness. Weakness means I find it very hard to crit. If I'm not critting, I'm not getting might. If I'm not getting might, I'm not getting heals and extra endurance. So, weakness is really dangerous for us. It doesn't just reduce our damage, forcing us to fight for a lot longer, but it reduces our sustain. So, there are condition cleansing abilities in the game, which we might end up using some of very soon. But uh, I just want to teach you what weakness is. And if you ever hear me grumpy about weakness as this series goes along, it's because of that. Weakness is the red icon that looks like a, a broken sword. And if you've been looking closely, we've been able to get about 16-ish might at max. That will actually go all the way up to 25. So if you ever see we have 25, we're at max, and that's amazing. Why are you here? This is the land of ghosts. Stand down, Spectre. We seek only to protect the living. Don't chat with her, heir. Dispatch her! <laughs> oh, and that's it. That's the whole conversation. Great. So, we get this ghostly, uh, necrotic fire. Ghost of Ascalon, rise up and defend me! And you hear she calls for the Ghost of Ascalon to rise up and defend her. You'll remember that Ritlock had dialogue about her getting summons. Um, this broke at some point. She gets a couple of summons here, so here's a flesh golem. Maybe it didn't break. Maybe it's just really bad. But the golems die really quickly. So all of her adds and things, we don't have to worry about, really. There's a lot of mechanics that used to exist in this dungeon that don't anymore, just because of the years going through, and the devs don't have any regard to, like, looking back at core content and fixing it up. They're more interested in new expansion content and stuff. So, yeah. You'll notice, by the way, when we kick her... Justice! We knock her down. It says immune, and she has a break bar, but we can knock her down anyway, so we can actually interrupt a lot of her stuff. She's summoning all of these wells around. The wells are dangerous to stand in, but are mostly threatening because they put weakness on us. There she feared us away, but I flipped the fear around by putting stability on myself. Here she's summoning again. You can see these, these bone minions that are giving her power. We're just going to try and pressure her through it. Kill them all! She can rest now. Her trials on this world are over. So she used to be a much more exciting battle. Not so much these days, though. And hey, we get a tunnel leak. So there we go. And the fire, the green fire recedes. 
This is a really nice room, by the way. Uh, so we got a waypoint from actually killing her here. So we got we got one a little bit deeper into the dungeon. There's lots of exits and entrances and weird places you might not expect. And there's actually a secret corridor here. So the third enemy is over here. So we might go back to the center and walk through, right? But if you notice very closely on the minimap here, there is a hint that there might be something behind that wall. And indeed there is. If we remember something we learned with Ritlock earlier in the dungeon, it's that there are pressure pads around. And indeed, if we stand on this, it opens that door. So, um, this is kind of a sneaky way to skip from one boss immediately to the next. Uh, so we'll put a boulder on here. And we'll open the door. Funnily enough, this is one of my favorite moments in a dungeon. The devs don't really embrace this kind of design much. But uh, when you're playing as a party, th this is like an airlock. Both doors open when the pressure pad's in. So if you let your friends run in <clears throat> and then you take the boulder off the pad, you can lock them in here. <clears throat> Which I find really funny. The devs are generally scared of players being able to troll one another like that, but hey. Alright, so we reached the Lover's Crypt. This is the hardest part of the whole dungeon. This is really, really, really difficult. On practicing this, I died here maybe like six or seven times before I finally got the kill. This is really tough. Once again, there are a few mechanics that have been disabled. But it is not easy at all. It is leagues ahead difficulty-wise of everything else we've done so far. So the first thing I need to do is come to this entrance and I need to kill these creatures here in case things go south because I don't want to die. We won't count that other death as a real death, right? Because we've we finished them off in vengeance, okay? So we're not gonna die, guys. We're not we're not gonna die, right? So we're gonna kill these so that we have a chance to escape later. I'm even gonna clear this ghost here. We just saw a blue thing on the ground. We're gonna kill this guy. So this one's a monk. Oh, I missed my uh, dual attack. That's really bad. That's really frustrating. So we're going to deal with this. So that's good. And we'll be able to flee like back up into that corridor. Okay, so good. By the way, behind that wall there is one of the most recognizable areas of the whole catacombs. So for this fight, we have to do a lot of range damage. They hit so hard. We're going to have to fight two bosses at once. And they hit so hard that we're not going to be able to use our axes or anything. We're actually going to go to our rifle here. Okay, then also remember we were trained for some shouts. I'm actually gonna train Two more now and I'm gonna get this shout here. It's called shake it off So this is cure a condition on yourself and all your nearby allies and it breaks stuns too and we're gonna swap balance stance No, sorry. We're gonna swap kick for shake it off. Okay, then also What else should I do? Maybe we should turn balance stance off as well all right, we're going to turn Balance Stance off as well, and we're going to put on this stance here, Frenzy. This is a classic Guild Wars 1 ability. This gives us quickness, it gives us tons of might, which is healing, which is endurance, and it gives us vigor, okay, which is more endurance as well. So we're going to use this with our rifle to stay at range and kind of try and out-pressure her as best as we possibly can. The other choice, by the way, would be like Bull's Charge, because we can evade away with that. We wouldn't charge in, we'd charge away from them. But we have to play really carefully here. There's going to be two creatures we fight. When they're standing next to each other, they get stronger. So we have to kill one of them as best we can. If we were a team, we could spread around the room and we could split their aggro. But because I'm soloing the dungeon, they're always both going to be on me. They're going to switch to Ritlock and Air on occasion, but not very much. They're mostly just going to stay with me. In fact, we can ask Ritlock for information, can't we? Yes. Tell him about the champions. Talk to me about Vassar and Relena. Vassar and Relena were a mesmer and elementalist, lovers who, who fought side by side. They were strong together. They should be divided and conquered. We're not going to be able to divide and conquer them. So, I have to run a lot around the room. Am I doing this right? Was it not a different skill I was using before? Oh god, guys, I'm scared. This is gonna, I really don't want to die. I really, really don't want to die. This is going to be hard. Alright, well look, before I bore you all. We don't need peak performance anymore, so let's use restorative strength if we ever have to use our heal signet, which is terrible, by the way. But if we do, we get some might from it, at least. Because peak performance is going to do nothing for us anymore. Defy pain. We could gain... Alright, okay, so this is good. Alright, let's go in. This is the hard bit. So out of that crypt over there in that corner by these trees, we find Relena. Invaders in this holy place? How rude! I will summon my dear Vassar, and together we will make short work of you. Careful, she's got a friend. Keep them apart. Okay, can we run away? Can we run away so I can talk? Alright, no, they're fighting. Okay, so basically, when they stand together, they get buffs. We're gonna do as much damage as we can early. 
Oh my god, no, 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 this is really bad. I've already messed it up. I've already messed it up. I've already messed it up. We're going to try and do a lot of, as much damage as we can early so that Air and Ritlock... Actually, we broke combat. Let's go back in. So that Air and Ritlock don't die is basically the idea. And they can like, be a bullet sponge for us for a while. But so basically, while they stand near one another... I need to get away from this. This is really bad. Oh my god, please let me get away. Please let me get away. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't cast that yet. Don't cast that. Alright, let's pull over here. While they stand together, one of them gets reflects. Can you see Vassar? He reflects when he's standing near his girlfriend. So we can't shoot him with the rifle. We can use that to gain some healing. Oh my god, I messed that up constantly. Oh god, I'm so bad at the game when I'm freaking making videos. So there, can you see that thing that just hit us there? That illusory mage? It does tons of confusion, tons of burning damage to us. It is really, really incredibly gross damage. Um, so what we need to do is use our cleanse perfectly when and if that ever hits us. Alright? So we're going to zoom the camera out now. And uh, we're going to see what we can do. So, our target right now is Relena. Always Relena. We're just going to shoot her as much as possible. And whenever we see that one of those phantasms is near us, we're going to try and dodge it, we're going to try and cleave it, or we're going to try and cleanse from it. And we're going to try and kill these guys. You'll notice that my other guy... So, there you go. We avoided that one because we were up the stairs. There's another one. We cleanse instantly, okay? And then... Oh, my God. They did it twice in a row. I think I'm dead. I have to pop heal sig. No, I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Maybe, 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 maybe. We're invulnerable for a second. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Are they still coming? Look, Ritlock and Air are dead anyway, so let's let's escape for a second. Oh, they just rezzed. Hold on, hold on. Ritlock and Air just rezzed. So if I can go back in now. They're still low. Alright, this is actually okay. There you go. I kept them in combat and I broke out. Bit cheesy, to be honest. When I beat this when I was practicing, I didn't actually need to resort to that. So Air is standing back. So there you can see that. We get the dodge. That dodge is really important. If we eat like two of those, it's game over. Okay. Justice. So we need to like get these dodges perfectly. There, that one wasn't cast on us. It's the other guy that casts those on us. She just casts um, like the Chaos Storm. So there, there, there we, he summoned the Phantasm on us and we just instant killed it. Here we'll go for a kill shot. Kill shot's important because it gives us um, adrenal healing. That trait that gives us health and stuff. So here, we just watch. We're watching around our feet right now more than any... There you go, dodge. And we moved out of the way. So there we go. We don't take the burning and the poison. We get, we're moving left and right, serpentine style. Alright, brilliant. Okay, so now it's just Vassar up, okay? And Vassar now will start spamming that ability because he's mad that his girlfriend's dead. He will spam it over and over and over and over and over again. So, what we're going to do is we're going to break combat and leave the fight all together. I can't believe we got that. That was actually really good. Uh, and when he goes away now, and when we re-engage, that AI should disable. And we won't have to deal with it. So, you go. The combat music's off. We're all good. And now, in theory, we should just be able to fight him. And he'll use his regular skills again. And he won't spam that ability over and over and over. So, there you go. That's this fight. There's another part of this fight, by the way. We survived, guys. I'm well happy with that. The Let's dodge, just in case. There's another uh, element of this fight. Which is that, you, it used to be when one of them got low, they would both teleport to the middle to make sure they both got their extra buffs and stuff. Not too relevant for us. I dodged, I dodged too early there. Oh my god, and we gain, so we can only cleanse two conditions. He put a third one on us. So that's really nasty. Oh my god, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Uh, he put a third one on, which meant that the burning that he gave us kept hitting us. So there we go, we get our rock dog in. If we're lucky, the rock dog will take that animation a little bit more. So, by the way, his abilities are all references to Guild Wars 1 Mesmer abilities, like Backfire and this web that he's throwing at us that cripples us and slows us down. That's called Imagined Burden, which is a Guild Wars 1 Mesmer ability. Here we go. We've got to dodge. Oh, I used Shake It Off and we didn't need to. That's fine. All right, here, I'm going to go in with 100 blades now, and we should be able to kill him. Quickness, 100 blades. Yeah! I thought they'd never shut up. With all this death, Adelbert's blood must be boiling by now. Perfect chance to deal with him. All right. So there you go. He thought they'd never shut up. We get the fire in the room after they've been defeated. Oh, my God. That's definitely the hardest fight. That is uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy that we managed to get that and that I practiced this a little bit. So there you have it. Let's go back to the center now where we saw Adelburn before. And uh, this is the final boss. And once again, stuff is not working that used to. He used to have this crazy, like, flame storm ability, but yeah. So, by the way, here's the actual sword itself. I never even showed you. It's stuck in the crack here. This is the sword. We'll interact with it in a second. If we still can, I don't know. 
What have you done? Your champions are gone, Ghost. Just like your son and your kingdom. I will have my vengeance. Join me in death. Uh-oh. King Adelburn. Dun, dun, dun. Let's... Okay, so there you go. He's got a big vortex ability there he was using. So, you'll see the sword. You just heard that sound effect. He just took the sword out of the ground, and he's now holding it. So he's now holding it. I never changed my skills. I was I wanted to be back on axe axe or some break bar damage here, but that's fine. We can stick with the great sword. So uh, yeah, we can beat up Adelburn. It used to be he had all these kind of crazy ghostly explosion attacks and things that he'd do, but uh, when I was practicing this before playing here with you all, he didn't do any of it. I don't know why, but he just kind of has these basic autos, which we're so tanky by running defense. He can't actually hit us through. So he's actually less threatening than most of the stuff here. Um, so yeah, a bit of a shame. I still really love the dungeon. I like the experience. I think this has been cool to show you guys. Uh, I, I wish that the devs did look back at some of this old stuff instead of always looking at new expansions just to make this feel like what it was originally. Uh, but yeah, so we get to fight Adelburn. Like it says here, summons foe fire. That's like he's got an ability that represents the foe fire that destroyed Ascalon. And yeah, I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing him do it. Maybe it's because the fight ends too quick. I, don't, I just don't know. But yeah, we'll, we'll fight him like this because it will be quicker than uh, going to rifle. Which does less damage because it's ranged, right? Ritlock's still back there using his pistol. There, I mean, there's a storm ability, but I mean, it doesn't look very good, does it? And it's all the way over there. It's tiny. I swear he used to have a storm ability that filled up the whole screen. Fighting out of one's really kind of weird for me right now because the truth is the most Ascon Catacombs story that I've played and fought Adelburn isn't even in Guild Wars 2. There was a MOBA NC Soft were trying to, well they did release but it's now closed down called MXM for a while and in the PvE in that game you could do that fight and I've done this fight there way more. It's really weird. Here we go. So we'll stand back. We'll use volley. We'll put vulnerability on him. Oh my god. No. Alright, go, go, kill shot. Oh, we did 2% damage in one shot, but it wasn't the full thing. Hold on. There we go. And down goes Adelburn. You've defeated me, but what have you gained? Much deadlier things stir beneath us. They'll consume you all. Magdare is shattered, but I know a blacksmith who can mend these pieces. Did you really think that if you got me a sword, you'd earn forgiveness? For you, the sword would be for Logan. What? Why would you risk our lives, my life, for that coward? I thought it would heal old wounds. It would remind you... Remind me of what? Betrayal? Ah, you've become a sentimental old woman. We're finished here. Why does Ritlock hate Logan? Mistakes from a lifetime ago, best forgotten. Ritlock's right. I've gotten too sentimental. Too weak. I mean, when it comes to the matter of Logan, you see Ritlock is just like a completely different character. A long time ago, I led us into a disaster. He blames me. They all do. Yeah, but you were trying to fight the Elder Dragons! Come on! The thing is, they may be right. Oh, were they Air though? I feel so bad for Air in this story. I mean, already we we sympathize with her, and we don't even really know her right now. But you can see Ritlock is just like a totally different guy. He really hates Logan. Um, so yeah, there Air mentioned that she knows a smith. That smith will be uh, something I want you guys to remember, if you can, because uh, uh, kind of an interesting character to follow the trajectory of. So yeah, they do have both swords now. There is a legend, by the way that suggests that if both swords returned to Ascalon in the hands of the true king, then the foe fire could be reversed. There is a legend that says that. And in theory, uh, we sort of have both swords, maybe. I mean, but Magda is broken, so it needs to be repaired. But there you go, so Adelburn is down. Adelburn there talked about deeper, scarier things below. Um, so what he's referring to there, what does Air say? The journey continues. You have my attention. I'll, I'll talk about uh, the scarier things below in a second. Uh, Air says here, come, we should leave. Ultimately, this mission was a failure. It's not a failure, we say. Adelburn needed to be dealt with. Uh, but I was stupid to think a sword could slice through the wall between Logan and Ritlock. Should we follow Ritlock? No. He still hates Logan, she says. And now he hates me. I should have left bad enough alone. And down here, uh, so yeah, should we follow Ritlock? That's the same thing. Well, so her plan here, the plan at Lion's Arch didn't seem to work and air's plan here didn't seem to work not looking very good for destiny's edge 
Garm looks ready to play some ghosts. Good boy. But yeah, we got a level up, guys. We got a ton of gold. Once we sell this stuff to a vendor, we'll be at one gold now. Um, and yeah, so Adelburn there mentioned scarier things below. That kind of introduces us to a side story, uh, which is to do with explorable dungeons. So when the developers were making Guild Wars 2, they realize that people might not want to see all this story every time they want to do endgame. So you have the story mode dungeon, which is a bit easier and deals with this plot. But then you can actually return to the dungeon afterwards in what they call explorable mode. And you'll see here now that the description of the dungeon has changed. It says a Dermond Priory team is researching the Ascalon catacombs and has found darker things lurking within its depths. And in an explorable modes, you have like all kinds of different paths you can go down and it tells different stories based on the aftermath, the fallout of the main adventure. And do you guys remember last episode I showed you that big wooden door? Yeah, well this is how you go through there. So here if we walk back in, you'll see that there's a Priory Explorer here now who has something to say. Finally, a friendly face. We thought pushing back the ghosts would make us safe. Instead, we're in more danger than before. Our camp is barely holding out against the Graveling attacks. The scholars say the only hope is to kill one of their patriarchs. But our scholars can't agree on which patriarch to target. Maybe you can break the deadlock. Please, head down there and find our camp. We need your help. So, you now, as a player, get the choice to start participating in this stuff. It's not really recommended to do it before a level 80, but, I mean, you can. Uh, and, yeah, so that deals with the story of kind of a side story to do with the Gravelings and the Graveling Patriarchs, which now, in the absence of Adelburn and those other ghosts in that specific crypt, are, uh, are a threat. The faux fire has not been reversed. The ghost will still be around. They will still be a thorn in the Char's side. Ultimately, Ritlock got absolutely nothing out of that quest into the Aslan catacombs. But we learned a few things. We recovered one of the swords. And that part of the story is done. And how exciting, guys, because that's not all. We also, guess what? Just joined the Vigil, remember? So how about we see... All about the vigil. Let's learn about that Ajax character we heard. Who's this female child that runs this group? Should be pretty exciting. I am Zoja, member in good standing of the College of Synergetics. I'm from Ratasu. We Asura will tell you, victory is a matter of ingenuity, not muscle. Even magic is just a clog in the eternal alchemy. Brain, not brawn, will change the world. Guild Wars 2 is a game with five races. So I guess we could start with the silly old humans, but everybody knows those. And these guys look kind of interesting, but I mean, come on, they're basically cats. Who like cats? I'll tell you what I enjoy in MMOs. I like playing inquisitive, small, alchemagical inventors that may be short in stature, but are intellectual giants. Among the Asura, it's not the strong who survive, but the clever. Other races believe they should rule by virtue of their power and strength, but they're deluding themselves. In due time, all will serve the Asura. I am Asura. I personify genius. <laughs> 